my teacher. Okay. I'm live. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Shona and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Um catch my breath. Get people a few minutes to come on. I think I'm a little earlier. I planned it on like 15 minutes. I think I kind of came on earlier. Hi, Faith. I think we're a little early. How are you doing? We're, we're okay. We had some bad news today. We lost a member of the family. Um, love, here's your phone. So to help keep my mind off of it, I thought I'd do a pop-up live. It may just be you and I tonight, but that's okay. Huh? Oh, other people here? Oh, hi, Brooklyn. I am going to be sending off your um, ribbon, Brooklyn, just so you know. Um, like I was telling Faith, we had a death in a family today. Dyla? How do you say your name? Uh, Gala. Gala. Hi, Gala. Welcome. Um, so, we had a death in the family today, and I had to keep my mind off of it. So, what I thought I'd do is a pop up live to kind of help get over it. <laughs> I guess I'd never get over that. Hi, Tammy. Welcome, you guys. Um, so, maybe this just kind of helped me feel better, right? Okay, today, what you're going to need, or tonight, well, I'm at it tonight anyways. What we're going to be using is acrylic paint. Um, the acrylic paint you can get for like 50 cents at Walmart for the two ounce bottles. And Brooklyn said sorry for your loss and Oh, thank you, Brooklyn. Um, well, also, I got, finally got some more wood, um, which I cut into a little smaller than I thought for I was going to do something else. And at the last minute, I decided I'm going to use it for something else. So we're going to try to make this size work. And pretty much that's all we're going to need is acrylic paint, some Hi, hot tea, and good friends. Hi, Tiana. Welcome. Gianna. Gianna. And Did Faith I say said, right? Mrs. Faith Van Griff is my new page. Sorry for your lost friends. Oh, thank you. And thanks for your new page. We'll have to check it out. Um, so let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do today is lower you guys down, so watch your eyes, okay? Uh, here we go, bring you guys all down here. And let's see, I hope you can see this. I might have to, oops, I keep forgetting this chair does not move on hardwood floors. Okay, so, we got a wood we pre-cut, and this is, I want to say it's about one-fourth of an inch, I guess. And what I'm going to do is I want to paint the background. So I'm going to grab my acrylic paint, which I already poured in my lids. Bring them over here so I can reach them. I don't know why I put them on my left side when I'm right-handed. <coughs> I'm go ahead and grab our brushes. Oops. Grab some tissue. Okay. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to paint the background first. And at first I was going to do like a groomy night type thing but let me take off my glasses what i think i'm actually going to go ahead and do now that i'm looking at the paint and the size of the board we're going to give it more of a little brighter tone so i'm going to take my little paintbrush that's basically dead before we throw it away i'm, I'm, I'm going to recycle this part too guys so always recycle these you can be amazed this one's plastic but you can make them out of so anyways we're going to go ahead and use this for at least one good use for here one more, more one more use and we're going to start with making a dark black, black, that's a lie, a dark background of blue, which I just got all over my hands. So we're just going to put this on here. But you all know me, it can't just be blue because that ain't going to happen. And I wish I had my other brush, which I think it playing hide and go seek in the kitchen. So we'll go ahead and use this one. Pick up my white, and we're just going to mix the two together. And that'll just give us kind of a little different sort of a coloration and a color we got. And I'm not going to make it perfect, you guys. I do not want it to look perfect. I want it to have a little creativity to it. Matter of fact, it's not even going to look like a real sky the way you're going to see it. Says, you did not tell me about this. 
Oh, yeah, Tammy, we didn't yet. No, but we were going to. And we get this going here. Yeah, we'll be calling you after the live, Tammy. Um, so we're going to add a little more doggo here. And I'm going to bring it up and down. So basically all I'm doing is I got my two colors, you guys. My favorite color. Oh, yay. You like my living room then. At least for a few more months. It's going to be painted. Um, I like my living room, but it needs something. It needs something. Thing. <laughs> so anyways no Tammy it's okay what's she say it's not him is, like, hey girl hi Bugger girl welcome Drake has not passed yet Tammy no but um he's close so we'll just deal with that when he comes okay Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pick up some more of my dog acrylic. And what I did on top, I'm going to bring down below. And not because it's a water scene, even though with the water scenes, I try to tend to do that some. Okay, so blue, my favorite color. Yay! <laughs> I got two positives for the blue. Love that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and bring it all the way down. Huh? You can't spill tonight. Dominoes. <laughs> Domino. <laughs> I'm just gonna cover that real fast and pick up some extra paint and just put down here real fast. Bucker girls are blessed. Thank you, Buckeye Girl. And we're gonna add some more white and give it the same concept as we did on the top there. Back and forth, nothing great, just real simple back and forth. And believe it or not, I got my hands here because I really don't want to paint my pants, but if I do, eh well, it won't be the first nor the last, right? Okay, it's a little much of the paint there, so we're just going to spread it down here. Get the all the ends. Gray is the color in my house. We're going to be painting. Actually, my house will be having some gray added to it real soon. I think it's going to be the main part of the walls, not the access. That's going to be more of a green, an olive green, I think it's called. Okay, if you guys see the little lumps, that's because my paint is very old. Um, so, if that happens, pick it up. You know, just take off what you can. What you can't, incorporate it into your picture. That's okay. It doesn't have to be a certain way, just your way. Sorry, no, so I can't spell You can't spell today? It's okay. Okay. Okay, so Becky Cody said hi Shauna. Hi Becky, welcome. Uh, hi Teeny. Oh Teeny. And Becky said, what are you making tonight? Tonight, um we're gonna make a type of scenery with some trees. Um I'll turn this air on just a little. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and make um some trees. I was gonna do something a little more Fancy, but I think tonight, considering everything's going on, we're just going to make some little sky and some trees and add some color to them. And hopefully, people will see that you don't have to do absolutely perfect little flowers to make a perfect little tree. Well, trees don't have to be perfect. So, at least in my opinion, a tree scape, yes. But you won't really see the entire tree. You're pretty much going to see. The upper part of the tree. Okay, so what we did is we got the blue sky in. Now with my brush, I wish I had a different brush. Let me look here. Ah, here it is. With my brush, it's just a little semi-pointed, so you can tell my point's dying because I use it all the time. Someday I'll get more brushes and paint. Someday. I'm go ahead and I'm going to take up the pure black. Normally. Katie says hi everyone, and Doris says hi Shauna, and Deb says hi all, first time. Hi Doris, hi Teeny, mm -hmm. welcome, and our new one is Deb. Deb. Mm -hmm. Welcome you guys, welcome, welcome. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make some upper half of the trees, and we're going to probably go a little crazy with this, and it's okay. 
I wish it was a bigger board, but you know what? We make do with what we have, right? Hi, Eileen. Welcome. So just going to pull up. I'm going from the bottom of my page, or my, my so-called canvas, my wood here, okay, pulling so up. Sorry, iPad is pain. In pain. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, your iPad. I'm glad it's not pain. That's okay. I'm glad it's not pain. And we'll just pull up some little loop lines. So I'm pulling from the bottom up. I don't know if you guys can see it. But we're just pulling basically from the bottom up and giving it that line like a tree would have. I guess more paint. Happy little trees. Thank you for putting it in there, Tammy. You guys feel welcome. That's what you said, right, Joni? Red? Yes, okay. Let me sure I heard you correctly. Sorry. Um, what, I, what I'm trying to do is come from the bottom up. And that way, you just kind of come to the top and just disappears off. Don't feel bad if you make mistakes because there is no mistakes in art. I truly believe that. We just come back and we just add a little branch. If you're running out of paint on your brush, add more. Add another little happy branch here, a little one there. Some of these branches you may see after you're done. Maybe some you'll never see again. That's okay. And believe it or not, my little tree is going to come like this and like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring something in from the set of the bottom up. We'll go ahead and finish this one. Oops. My bad. See? Bottom up, and I didn't do that. Now I got that type of a branch. So we're just going to incorporate it in here somehow. Let me just add a little. I should have switched off my brush, but I did not. So let's switch it now. The little brush is easier for smaller branches. They kind of come out a little better. So sometimes the smaller the brush is, the better the line for your tree branch will be. I guess there's some breaking news. Breaking news. Yes, I will now be watching the Grammys. Oh, you're watching. Okay. Oh, lovely. All right. So what we're going to do, instead of leaving this plain, you guys, or filling it in for like a tree, we're actually going to pretend, now instead of bottom up, we're going to do top down. And we're just going to bring in a couple little lines. And I guess I'm kind of filling, trying to fill that in. My brush won't catch it. We're going to bring a few little things out. So we kind of got like this little tree coming out of the top of our canvas from nowhere, really. I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to add some little branches on my little tree here. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And bring out some little branches, okay? So we're just doing this at the top of our head. If, we, if I succeed with it, great. If I don't, yeah, it's okay. Not a big deal. We're just going to add some little odds and ends here and there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is clean my brush. Oops, and this one I just threw down there because that's a no-no. Get our brush clean here because this is the one I'm going to continue to use. Now, there are several ways to make a tree. But since this is kind of not like a more of a realistic tree, it's more like a, I don't know, a fantasy type tree. I mean, at night, excuse me, you would see something like this, but with the darker backing of the sky, of course, we get this cleaned up. Okay, so we got to switch off our brushes here. I think I will switch it to this one. This one's a little smaller, more of a flower end. And now at this point, we can do one of two things. We go ahead and finish off designing of our trees, or we can decide if we like the trees the way it is. And what I think I will do is actually pull back this brush here. And I'm going to actually just pick up some white. Remember, you don't want the clunk to be right, so you just want to take it off. You want to keep it on the edge and end of your brush, okay? And I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing. And we're going to go ahead and think of where we might want some brightness coming out of our black stumps here. So we're just going to go real simple. I tend to try to go, not saying all the time, as you can well see me before, not necessarily always goes from the bottom up, but I do try to go from the bottom out or the bottom up, if you will. And we're just going to add some little 
white in here. It doesn't have to be any specific way. Just to give it that little extra. Like, whoops. Let me pick that up. And bring this out. I almost did my tree the other way, but I thought we'd just do it this way tonight. And I guess later we can always come back and teach you the other way. This is just something really simple and fun, you guys. You can do it with your children, your grandchildren. Out of a piece of wood out of your backyard or something, if you got a piece laying around. doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just something fun to have fun with your kids with. Or grandkids. So, once again, I got my one on the top. But I can't really go from the bottom up. Because I want to bring it thing here and out. The paint is getting dry because I got the heat on. Let me wet that just a little. And then once again, just going to pull it through here. I can't, normally I put my finger down to guide my hand so it's more steady. But this time, it, what? Hopefully I can do it without messing up the blue. Not, well, hide it. There you go. You could always hide an arrow, you guys. If you call them a mistake or an arrow, you can always just hide them. So we go right ahead and we'll come over to our next little happy tree here. Sorry I didn't give you guys more notice. We just kind of decided it was something to track my mind, make me not think. And add some little white lines in here. And pull it up. This one may turn into gray, which would be kind of cool. Because the pink's a little wet. And try to pick that up and bring it up. Maybe a little here. My brush is separating. Put it back together. And we'll just put it right back through there. Good enough. Good enough. Bring some up to the top. Okay, a little there. There's only branches. Wherever you think you might see some light at, just add the light. We're doing this part ahead of time because the next step you may not see any of the white by the time we're done. So some may think it's a waste, and I just think it could be fun. I should have started from the bottom up. So always start from the bottom up or the top to the down on something like this with this particular style. So we're just going to go ahead and add. We're just going to get some in there. And we'll bring nice. We'll stroke through there. We're going to connect that and we'll connect this. Okay. So now we got some white going here. Pick out my hand a little. Oh, got it. Then our next step is we're going to pick, I think I did actually, right here. Is this my one? No. Nope. I'm going to take a little brush like this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of my black paint here. You close that up so I'm not wearing it. You all know how cutsy I am. I'm going to bring over some pretty pink. And I thought what we do tonight, instead of making it all green, we're going to make it like pink flowers. Not perfect flowers. We don't want the perfect flowers. I'm just going to use this little brush. And we're going to make it something simple that you can do with your little kids. We're going to pick up the paint with our brush. Try to keep it, you know, more towards the tip. And watch this is why I mess it up. But if I do, eh, who cares? I had fun doing it, right? So what we're going to do is go ahead and with our little brush, I'm just going to push down. And nothing specific. No great details. Just make sure I got paint on my brush. If you don't like something showing through, go back with your brush and just cover it. I'm not even going to make sure it's perfectly round or flat or anything like that. They don't even have to be touching the brush. The little branches we put on there. Just poke them in there, wherever you want them to go. And all I'm doing is, is basically pushing down on my brush, pulling up. Down and up. Absolutely nothing fancy at all. And now when you get to this point, if you want it to go back before it starts to dry and add little details or other colorations, absolutely feel free to do that. But I think I'm just going to go ahead with my little pink and maybe connect some of it together. Add a little extra pink there. 
this one is still oh, missed out for the white, but that's okay. We can just figure it out as we go. It doesn't have to be covered. Just a little dotting here, a little dot there. That's why it'd be so much fun to do with the little wee ones because they can use their fingers, little fingerprints. It doesn't have to be an absolute perfect um, tree. And I'm bringing some out where there's absolutely no stick. And that's okay too. Because some sticks are hidden trees. You don't always see them, right? So we're just going to go ahead. We're just going to pat these on there. Happy little pats. And we can just pick up that paint right there. And get these going. This is probably the longest part of trees, but that's okay. They can be a lot of fun. You can do it green, yellow, pink, whatever you want. Just to have fun with. And I'm going to bring them out and start connecting my trees. My little branches. And now, I'm not going to fill all of it in. Because these are little flowers. And... You want the backing to come through, the sky to come through, at least on this particular one I do. So we're not going to hide it all. But now, at, as well to this point, what we could do, and I'm going to, this is really something you should do if you have it on, like, the table, instead of in the lid, because the lid goes back on your paint. I'm going to pick up my two paints. Come on. Okay. And we're going to pick up our two paint. Let me go ahead and wipe this off real fast. Because now what I'm going to do is we're going to add a different variety. How about two? Let's see what this does. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. So let's find out together. I think it will give me the two colorations of the paint, of course. Unless I just blew it right there. And we'll go ahead and add little white flowers in here with the pink ones. And we'll pick up the two colors together. And we'll go ahead and come down where we didn't have any and see what they look like. And emergencies are out, so hopefully everybody's all right, Lord willing. Get these done. When I do this, you guys, it's the two paints put together. So we have our white. Let me get that closer to my pink. We have our white and the pink, and I'm just taking my brush. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you guys see me? Yeah, we can. Just a little. I'm taking the brush with the pink, and I'm just wiping in between the two. So I basically I will have both colors on my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and do it kind of thick like this. I'm turning you guys right back around just a little. We're gonna do it kind of thick with the two because we're gonna go ahead and bring it right over here, and I want this section kind of nice and full. Normally, I would say pat it off. Well, you actually could, you know, kind of pat it because we want to combine the two. And we're just picking up all little colors. You go pull up some pink and just start spreading them out so they're not so close to each other. You can add yellow, brown, whatever colors you want. It's totally up to you. Just a little flowers. Nothing fancy. If I had my other brush, I'd be using it too. Let me try to pick up some of the white with that. There we go. This one is a little white, a uh, little brighter flower than that one over here. Although we do have to go back over here and finish it. It's probably what takes the longest. It's just a little padding of these. You can go ahead. I have the other pink open, which I don't even have it on here. I make some darker pink and just add. Oh, I do have the other one. Thank you. Okay. We'll go ahead and add a little darker pink to it as well. I should have put it in the See? Should have put it in the lid this time and then just dumped a little out. So we're just going to pick up some of the darker color because I want to try to bring out some. There we go. There's something else. There's something else to give it a little more change of detail there. 
colors. Well, thank you, Doris. And we'll go ahead. That also will help hide the white on in the brown from the trees if you don't want all that showing. Which I don't really mind all that going. Oops. Now we're going to bring it up just a little up because I want it to kind of come off the tree. And we're going to come out this way. And we're just patting along. Put our little flowers down. Happy little flowers. We'll add some here. What happened? Red's laughing. Something happened. But Tammy, they can't talk if they're just cups. What? You two are silly. It's a family thing. Tammy is a uh, Tammy Carlson from Gender Reason thing. She's family, and these two they're funny together. Where Mrs. Potts and her children went, and um, she was saying they're cups, but <laughs> she said because they were cups to begin with, you can't turn a cup into a human, only a human into a cup. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and really get started here. <laughs> now we're gonna add some more dogs through here, just enough to kind of bring some out, make it a little fuller. Remember, once again, you do not have to hide all of your trees, all of your little bushes in there. It's okay if stuff shows through. So we're going to go ahead and come right down through here. And I'm just really hitting my brush, not pounding it, but just hitting it into the tree here. And just whatever it gives me is what I get. And that's what I work with. It's okay. It doesn't have to be anything special. Because by the time you're done, whatever you make is perfect, in my opinion. So we're just going to add a little bit of brightness through here. Bring some little happy flowers through here. Until I'm running out of paint on my brush, huh? Okay, there we go. Bring that down. And bring it through here. Now remember, we don't see the end of the tree. So that means that my tree must be pretty high in the sky. So to fix that up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Some of these little flowers right around here to give that idea that this is just not the stump of the tree or the end of the tree. That there is something else right there. Add some white. My little tiny flowers through here. There's still something hiding in there. And I'm going to call this right through there. And we'll bring it up. So it looks like these two connect. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and go back over to this one. Once again, we're going to pick up the white. I'm going to have to mix it, guys, because it dried up. We're going to pick up the, here we go, white, some pink. I'm going to go ahead and get off the most of it. Just use what's on my hand. And we're just going to do the exact same thing we did over there. You can add more or less. You call them any kind of flowers you want. Doesn't matter. It's totally and utterly up to your design. What you want to make. Add some little flowers through here. Yes, they did. The cups talk. Oh my goodness, child. I think you both need to watch that movie again, okay? Watch it together and you'll figure out what y'all are talking about. Kids are silly, right? Love them to death, though. It's good to laugh at times like this. It really is. And we'll just add some more little dog flowers down through here. Kind of pick up some of that. Connecting them. On this type of a tree, what I'm doing right here, sometimes connecting the flowers is absolutely the perfect thing to do. And the reason why is because you want that fullness out there. And you want it to still have the ideal that this is a tree. But at the same time, I don't want to totally hide everything. I don't want to give my flowers such absolutely great detail that you can tell me exactly what they are, what kind of flower this is. I don't want that. I want it to be more recognizable but not recognizable. I want it to be more surrealism with the flower, if you will. 
Is that the right word? Do I use that word right? Surrealism? Abstract. I don't know, guys. I'm tired. It's late. I guess by it now I should remember all this, right? Yeah, it's late for me right now. I'm, I can't say I'm stressed. I'm just upset. That's okay. Brooklyn says, that looks pretty. And Tammy says, coming down on Thursday will be June 12th. Uh, cool. I won't be here. No. We'll be. Oh wait, no. Take that back. That's Thursday. Okay. No, she's coming down on Thursday. On Thursday, yeah. Okay, so I hear an animal choking. Just Daisy. Okay. Carol says three D. Huh? Carol says three D. Three D. Sure. Daisy's not joking. Daisy Bree's funny, guys. She's old. She has cancer. And when, she's a cat, by the way, in case you're wondering. And sometimes she um, I love her sounds funny. Tammy. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to get this going. I'm going to add a little bit here. But you know what? I don't think I'm actually going to connect the two with this. I think I'm just going to make this kind of stand on its own. Oops, I got something on my brush. Let me see if I can get that off. There we go. And right through there. Go right ahead. Let me pick up some of this white and bring it up. And then we'll add a little here. And once again, it... It's not connected to anything, so I am going to go ahead and just put a little bit of flowers here. Just enough to give you the idea that this is not the end of the tree. That there's something down there. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and come up to the, this one. The one that's coming from the bottom up. And normally I would say you're going to do the exact same thing. Well, you are with one, one thing. You're going to turn it around. Because the way the brush is going to go... It will, you would have an upside down tree with right side up brush petals because look, if we did it the right way, let me turn it back and show you what I'm talking about. If I did it this way, and I go, okay, let's start putting this on. Well, guess what? I'm putting my flowers on upside down. So we're going to have to turn it around. And believe it or not, it does make a difference. You can see the difference in them. Well, these are all upside down now, but you get the point. I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm explaining this. And then go ahead, and we're just going to hide those and make them go right set up now. And we're just going to bring them out. And little ones here. Bring some up there. There we go. For the most part, I am just using the, my brush as a flat. Oops, I've got a lot of paint on there. Okay. We'll just add some little paint here and there. add some dark since I've got an awful lot of dark there. I'll probably have to paint something else. Use up all that dark paint I wasted, huh? You pick up some white. And go ahead and we're going to add a little bit of white coming through here. Oops. Pick it up. And we're going to not connect that yet. I'm going to bring out just a little. And pick up some of the dark, bring it into that white. And come over here. I think the little stuff I'm getting on my brush, guys, the little hunks are actually part of my brush breaking. That's all right. Because for some reason, I tend to have very good with that. I mean, I do that perfectly. I break my brushes. <laughs> it's all right. Then go ahead and bring some here. And once again, this is coming from the top. So I'm going to hide this. And I'm going to put a little bit more than what I normally might have put. But since this is literally coming from the top into our picture, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Let me pick that up. Come on, let me have some white. A little bit of pink. Bring some right through here. There we go. And we're just, pat we're just patting it, you guys. All it is to get that little shape and color, we're just patting it down. 
you can pick up more of the dog, you can add it wherever you think you need it. And we're going to add this little there, a little here, and I'm going to add a little bit of white through here because that is actually the tip. So it's the very end of this tree right here. Let's add a little bit of white through here. A little bit became a lot, but that's okay. You'll see why in a second. Okay, now we're going to turn this back around. Well, you guys are actually going to see it the way I started with, but technically is upside down for now. And I decided I wanted to brighten this up with some white. So I'm just going to go right through here. I'm just, I know it's dry, but you still have all that paint there. Just pick it up and redo it. That's the beauty of not making it perfect because you can go right back over it and nobody would know the difference. If anything, it'll just make it darker, hiding the, uh, the tree stems behind you better, and just bring it out. Let me pick up some more white. And put some little bit of white through here and call this good. Okay, let me put my brushes up here. All right. So technically, this is my bottom. This is the top. So I'm going to go ahead and raise you guys up. Watch your eyes, okay? Hello again. And now let me show you it the correct way that it will hang. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Sorry, this is Howard. Hey, Sandy. How are you? Welcome. So there we go. We got our little trees, a little bit of everywhere. Or what do you call them? Blossoms? Cherry blossoms? I guess you can call them. But this is actually the base of our tree, the bottom part of our canvas. This is the top. You still got, you can imagine part of the tree kind of coming back down. That's where this comes in. So it just kind of falls back in there. So at this point, we can just set it aside or you can add and change things. It's perfectly okay to do it however you want. Um, the one thing I was thinking, I wanted to show you guys, it may ruin this, but that's okay. I want to show you guys how to do it anyways. So I'm going to lower you right back down real fast just to show you how to do this. Let me lower you back down. Okay. The one thing I want to show you guys, and I am going to go ahead and grab my black back. Doris is beautiful and she says love it. Very pretty. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Um, let me get some black to come out of this thing. Okay. The one thing that a lot of people have asked is what do you do when you already got it done, you like what it is, but you notice you don't have a... Now, like I said, this may ruin it, but we're going to do it anyway just so I can show you. You can do this method with other things. Pick up your brush and find an empty spot where you have your paint originally, okay, and just pull it in. If you can, without getting hunks. On this one, we're going to get hunks because of the way I did the painting. But you just pull it through. Yeah, I didn't think it would work. But you get the idea. You just pull it through. And that will show some extra little stems there. You want it little tiny stems? Come with the black is and just pull out. I don't recommend using the big brush you were using. Because you just want these little teeny tiny things like a little twig, and you just pull it out, okay? So if, let me set it over here. Here's my tree. We're gonna do it down here because I think it's important to show you guys what I'm talking about. And since I did my painting with little, well, I didn't smooth them out perfectly, it won't let me show you the way I want to. So we're gonna do it this way. No law says I can't paint on my desk, right? Okay, we're going to make my pretend tree. I'm going to make my pretend tree coming up. And then come out. We'll just make some little leaves. We'll make them kind of big. This is my little huge tree here. Now, I went ahead. Ah, this brush. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to take a bigger brush. And you know what, instead of the pink, even though I have pl plenty of it, 
I think what we'll do is to, because I'm trying to show you guys something specific, we're going to go ahead and pull out some of the green. Get it to come out just a little. I don't want, need a lot. Because once I got my, my thing down here, if I want it more like a realistic tree, kind of the same concept, but more realistic, you can add the green. With the green, you're going to want to bring in, whoops, bring in your white. I'm going to rinse this out and put it on my paint. You bring out your white, add it to your green. Usually the white will go on the top because I'm not saying all the time. I'm just saying at this particular point because I would never just do that only on the top. That's just not me. And you just bring it out. Give it that little lightness to come through the tree, right? Now, once it's like this and you decide you need it branches, this is what I was trying to show with the other one, is I would go ahead, pick up, my paint's drying, guys, I'm sorry. Thank you, Brooklyn. Pick up your trunk, color the trunk, and pull it through your paint. If you think you picked up some of the green paint, just wipe off your brush, okay? Once again, you just can come through and just bring some of these little tiny things out. And then I would just like, Add a little tree, a little bit there, a little there. And it kind of shows that there's a branch behind that. But you can see most of the branch. So there's a, a couple different types of trees. And this is the one that we were just going to work on today. And in the future, because I am bringing you guys up now, I'm still planning on going ahead and going to show you guys how to do the tree going up the wall. That we're actually going to be building um and then painting so i wanted to show you the difference because it'll be more hands-on but the paint motion will still be similar as far as wanting to bring some of the sticks out with the flowers or uh, leaves behind it and just have those sticks where they're almost jumping out at you because we're going to be built physically building it not just painting it but physically building it so once again let me go ahead and show you what we ended up with. We just got our little trees, which kind of reminds me of going underneath a bunch of trees and looking up. And this is all, we're down here, and this is us looking up, and we're surrounded by our cherry blossoms. So I just thought it'd be a fun little pop up. I hope you guys liked it. And sorry, it's a little late. I just needed to kind of put my mind back into focus what needed to be and on that note i want to thank you all very much for joining us so late and enjoying this little pop-up with us and just thanks for being you once again have a very great evening or morning and as always be blessed